Okay, so um, been doing spoken word. I've done spoken word for years. I still get nervous for some reason. Yeah, me you know? too. Um, but because, because, you because you all got up, excuse me. Because you all got up, I didn't want to speak too loud. No, it's not. Um, not okay, all right. The mic is different. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so because um, you all got up and did it, I felt like okay, I can't be shy. I have to go ahead and do what I got to do. All right. So this piece is called um, Sankofa is our war cry, and I want to make sure that I'm saying that right. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ask Polina, is it Sankofa? Yes, Sankofa. All right. Just want to make sure I haven't been saying it wrong for all these years. All right, Sankofa is our war cry. So I'm gonna start off with a little song. Oh yes. And be mindful that I'm an artist. You're pushing that mic up. I'm an artist. This is not true. All right. Damn right. There's a natural mystic blowing through the air. You can sing along. Hold it up. And if you listen carefully now, you will hear. This could be the first trumpet. Might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die, don't ask me why. Things are not the way they used to be. Uh -huh. For a millennia, oh, yeah. this war has been waged against us. Uh -huh. Behold, our shrines now collect dust. The enemy marks that which was sacred to us. The ways of our ancestors we no longer trust. Thus, we are inoculated into the ways of his disease pray religiously on our knees to our ancestral enemies. We reject our cowries, our medicines, our rituals, our drum. We trade ageless wisdom for technological barbarism. Countless Africans are locked in this prison, awaiting an exorcism of the spirit of an enemy. Casting illusions of white supremacy. I think mine's gonna get cut. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Casting illusions of white supremacy. But how many, how many, how many more will suffer and how many more will die until we realize that Sankofa is our war cry? We cry Sankofa on one knee in the ways of the scale. Unto Asar we hail. Unto Avatela we hail. Unto Oya we hail. Unto Abosum we hail. Oh, when shall we sail in the primeval oceans with Ra? And when shall we return to Our Lady Yemoja? And when shall we proudly pray to Olodumare? And when shall our children say, Ashe? As we bow our heads, as we pour libations and seek the truth through divination, when will we build our clans and repair our nation and prepare our minds for war? To be or not to be? To see or not to see? How we define ourselves will determine our destiny. To live by an African reality is what we must decide or bow unto death and to accept genocide. Mm -hmm. For many more will suffer and many more will die until we realize that Sankofa is our war crime. Right. Sankofa! So yeah. Maybe I should, we should have talked about it before. Everyone is familiar with what the term means. Yeah. Means to go back and fetch. Yeah, and that that yeah. term has been used for uh, nation building uh, to to represent our return to our ancestral yeah. ways yeah. and um, our desire to to rebuild from that point. And sometimes you have to go back. You know, I forgot something. I got to go back. Yeah. Or in order to get over a, 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 a you know a pit or a hole, you sometimes you got to step back a little bit so you yeah. can jump. You can build up the steam. You know. So. That's what the spirit of that was. The idea is that we can return to our ancestral, um, sp the spirit of our ancestral ways, so that we can move forward. All right. All right. Ashe. All right. Ashe. All right. I have one more. You must. You yeah. Good.